Jennifer Nicole, I prayed for someone like you. Someone with a soul like yours. Someone that is as beautiful on the inside as you are on the outside. Someone that displays the immense kindness and compassion for others that you do. Someone that deeply values loyalty, that's hardworking and focused as you are. Someone that has the strength and resiliency you have. But most importantly, someone that yearns for a relationship with God above all else. If you went back and told high school Jennifer that she'd be marrying her high school sweetheart from Northwest Kansas, I would have said you're out of your mind. Anyone who knew me back then knows I had my whole life planned out and that plan did not include anything from small town Kansas. However, just like everything in life, God knows so much better than we do. And he knew Gordon Wolf was the man I needed in this life on earth. Watching the woman you've become since we first met in high school has been my biggest blessing. And there's not a doubt in my mind, Jennifer, that you are that person I prayed for. And I thank God every day it didn't take any longer for our paths to cross. Today I stand before you praising God that he knew a better plan than my own. And that together we took that bold leap of faith to follow God's plan and surrender to Him in our lives, putting Him at the center of our relationship. I stand before you promising to always put God first, knowing our relationship will be its strongest with Him at the center. Today I vow in front of our friends, family, and God to love you as Christ loved the church. I vow to love you out of commitment by decision and accompanied by emotion. I vow to make you feel safe, loved, and beautiful. I vow to never let you wonder if you are enough. I vow to hold the word of God at the highest regard in this covenant and in our house. And lastly, I vow to put you second to God only, to focus my life towards Him, growing closer to Him, and in turn to you. I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. Father God, we come before you and just say thank you. Thank you for Gordon and Jennifer. We thank you for their love and above all else for your love for them. God, I ask that uh, when this life is hard, that they would hold on to you and to hold on to each other and that you would be the one to guide them, to protect them, and to hold them close. Father God, I pray that their home would be always one of grace, and Lord, that your grace would flow into them and then to each other. Lord, I pray that you would give them the ability to be a light in a dark world, and that others would see the, the presence of your Holy Spirit in them and be attracted to it. God, I just thank you so much for what you do. And Lord, I, I know that there will be much that is good that will happen in this world, but Lord, may the world not ever be more attractive than eternity to them. So Lord, we thank you. We praise you for all that you do. And it's in the name above all names, the name of Jesus, we come to you. Amen. Therefore, by the power vested in me, by the state of Kansas, and more importantly, by God Almighty, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has brought together, let man not separate. Gordon, you may kiss your bride. Dear friends, I now have the honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wolf.
I remember when uh, Gordon told me that he was dating Jennifer. Um, we were sitting in his dad's shop, and I mean, he was just as happy and giddy as he could be. Um, and thankfully, that has never changed. I've never seen a couple more perfect for each other. I mean, they're so in love with each other. Um, it's been amazing to just watch them go from high school sweethearts to getting baptized and now they're married and it's just it's just been amazing to do this with them Gordon and Jennifer I wish you all the luck and happiness in the world I love you guys most authentic and genuine people that I know. She is fiercely loyal and reliable. Her commitment to those around her is honorable and she is a safe space for many. I feel confident in saying that I am not the only one who believes Jen to be one of the best people currently existing in space and time. Her heart for the people around her is a clear demonstration of the love of the Lord for humanity. I am so thankful to know such a wonderful person, let alone be able to walk this life beside her. Jen, if I haven't already conveyed my gratitude for you, I hope you know that I am so thankful for your heart and your existence on this planet. of a better fit for Jennifer than Gordon. I have no doubt in my mind that Gordon will lead Jennifer well in this marriage through the power of God's Spirit within him. Because of their love, I have more hope in the future generations to come. Yeah.